Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, here is the the long-awaited addition to this solar system that we kind of built the whole thing for uh, to accommodate. And that is an LG uh, what a CS220W. <clears throat> Nothing more uh, descriptive of this particular refrigerator than the numbers after it. But uh, suffice it to say, it's a 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer uh, running it completely off of the uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery bank system that we've got. And if you've been following the previous videos, you know that uh, I'm running a 3000 watt reliable inverter and anyway this just came in a couple of days ago we've been running it through some initial tests it's living right there for right now while we do that and i'm going to show you what's going on and why we chose this particular model for the system and i will suffice it to say right off the bat we're very happy with everything so there were several factors in why we chose this particular refrigerator. Uh, one is that it has a very uh, uh, thick insulation. Fantastic space, as you can see. That's just the freezer. And here's the main compartment. Again, uh, you know, for, for this type of refrigerator, pretty thick insulation which was a, 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 a big part of choosing this. But the other part of it, besides the, uh, uh, the good insulation for this, and, and I have to qualify everything that I'm saying by the fact that for the past 25 years, we've lived off of a, a propane refrigerator, which uh, the Dometic style, seven cubic feet, refrigerator, which is real common for off-grid living, propane-fired. Uh, making the big jump from propane to solar power. So, I have to say, it's been 25 years since I've had an electric refrigerator. And this one was uh, uh, told to have what they call, I believe it's a smart compressor. So, it only draws a uh, three amps continuous um, but we've been running it now for over 24 hours and uh, it, it fluctuates between three and five amps and right here you can see right now it's running pulling 55 watts the the freezer everything is rock hard in the freezer everything in the refrigerator 38 degrees. Um, so I've, I've noticed since I initiated this that about the highest I've seen is 70 watts. Um, I haven't seen that since it was uh, uh, first initially fired up. This is pretty much what when it's running at pretty much 54, even down to 40 watts to run a 20 cubic foot refrigerator. So now back in here in the uh, utility room where the batteries are. And I just had to adjust the light, but you can see that'll come into focus here. Well, 13.23 volts is what's running on the, the bank. Yeah, uh, that's terrible focus. Okay, sorry about that all, everybody. I was trying to do too much at once. But anyway, here I am at 78.9% full. Been running this, like I said, 24 hours. Uh, didn't have a great solar day today. But, you know, I got up to near 80% full. That's fine. There's my pull on this right now. 7 amps. I can say that uh, 3 of that is from other uh, things that I'm running. So, 
Yeah, about four amps is what I'm drawing off that refrigerator, keeping everything status quo. That's the amount of amp hours left in a 600 amp hour bank. So I'm a little giddy about the whole thing. Everything's working so well. I can't believe that the uh, 20 cubic foot is only pulling three to five amps to run. There I am. I mean, it's, it's early evening here now. Here's what I'm sitting at. So all of this uh, uh, new technology with a you know a full size electric refrigerator is so new to us out here. After living on a propane refrigerator, we've got the gas turned off. We're not running propane. Sunshine to run a full size refrigerator. The nice thing that I've noticed about the what they call the smart compressor on this. It's like I said, the highest I see pretty much, even in the heat of the day today, when the room was pretty warm, I would say 78 degrees inside the house today. And, it, you know, the draw on the system went up accordingly a little bit, keeping everything just perfectly uh, temperate in that refrigerator. The highest I saw all day long coming off of that, and I, uh, that monitor right down there, been watching it very, very closely. Highest I've seen is 65 watts coming off of that. But here's the point I wanted to make about that smart compressor in there is it goes up similar to what you would uh, expect in your charging cycle with batteries. It, it, you know, it pumps in exactly what it needs. I've never seen over. Uh, maybe 70 watts ever, and that was mostly on the initial setup. But ever since then, like right now, I can see from here it's 53 watts while it's running. It tapers that down slowly, like almost a full charge as the temperature comes up into the refrigerator. And I had it explained to me by the sales representative uh, in better terminology than I'm able to come up with, but coming from a solar charging perspective it does a very similar thing it, you know it takes it up to the desired temperature and then it, it decreases the amperage or wattage down to keep it at that temperature until it gets down to about 40 watts and then it actually has cut off and it'll stay cut off and the only thing i haven't determined is how long it actually stays off so I'll have that information and more in an upcoming video. Uh, this got here about a month before I thought it was going to get out here. So it caught me a little behind on some of the hard wiring system and anything. But I could not wait to get this thing fired up. And there it is. We're off the gas. We're running just fine. And this thing's hardly touching that, that uh, 600 amp hour lithium bank. So there it is again, 53 watts, running absolutely uh, just perfect, barely touching, the, just not even touching that battery bank. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll move this over as close as I can to where it's running. Super, super quiet, super quiet. Very happy about that too. You do not hear this thing running. So I'm going to have a lot more to say about this. Uh, like I said, this is just where it's living for now while I run it through some initial tests. I'm going to do a few other things to show you guys in some upcoming videos. And that's where it's living for now. 38 degrees in 20 cubic feet. Of course, the freezer's colder than that, but wow, hardly any draw on the system. I just can't believe it, and not running any propane, so I was just too excited to get out to you guys. It came in a month early, so things are starting to move out there off the cargo ships. Hope you're all having a great start to your weekend, 
and we'll catch you on the next one. There's going to be more to come on this. And I got some other uh, new products to show you guys too. Aloha Friday.